Hello. Thank you for joining me. I'm Tom Booker, Senior Instructor. This is our Black Belt lesson for week number six of our spring term. And in this lesson, we're going to be working together on the seventh strike bow kata. We're really going to be focusing on this during our lesson today. We're going to be working on naming the techniques, the different skills that make up this kata. Now we are working together with the Roku Shaku bow, to give it its proper name, which is this, the long staff. That's what we would call it in English. Roku Shaku is simply a measurement. It means six shaku. A shaku is pretty close to a foot. And bow just means wood. So all we're doing is describing this. It's a piece of wood six feet long. Nothing too complicated about this. It's usually simply called the bow. You say bow, most people know what you mean in the martial arts. Now, we're going to start off today, we're going to warm up with this a little bit. There are one or two special warm-ups we can do when we've got the bow in our hands. Now, the first of them is we're going to tuck the bow in behind our back this way. Rest it against our lower back here. Got it. Uh, got a grip on it with either hand, and we're just let's go ahead and put your left foot out in front, and we're just going to gently twist from side to side like this. When we're working with the bow, this is not just a matter of working our hands and our arms. We're working our entire body as we use this weapon. Let's switch sides. Let's go right foot out in front. And again, we're just, just going to twist from side to side. Just like that. Gently back and forth. Now something else this helps me do is keep my head and shoulders over my hips and feet. So I'm staying nice and straight. If you look at it from the side, this works best if I'm staying nice and upright, I start bending over. This doesn't work very well at all, so it's good for my basic posture, too. I'm going to switch feet one more time. We're not trying to go real fast with this, but we do want to get a nice full range of movement. Okay. Now, bring it out from behind our back. And we're going to take a one-handed hold on this. Point your thumb toward the end of the bow. And what we're going to do are figure eights. I'm going to come down, up, around, down, up, and around, like an eight lying on its side, just like that. All I've got to do is point my thumb. And the bow will go where I point my thumb. So I'm just pointing my thumb, making those figure eights. Now again, I'm not trying to go real fast or real hard with this. Slowly and gently does it nicely. Just a good full range of movement. That's all we're really working for here. And let's switch sides. Let's go right side forward. Take it in the middle with your right hand. My thumb's pointing down toward that end. And again, we're going to continue. And I'm just going to put the other hand on my hip to keep it out of the way. So I don't get that hand and arm tangled up with my bow as it moves. And again, just point your thumb. Bow will follow where you point your thumb. And relax. All right, now, one more.
more thing we can do. I'm going to take uh, thumbs down grip here on either end of the bow. I'm just going to swing it up and back like this and bring it back down like that. And again, just gently up and back. Bring it back down. Gently up and back, and bring it back down. Now, if you want to get a little more adventurous with this one, what I can do is slide my hands out toward the ends, and I can bring it all the way back behind me, and all the way back to the front. Up, over, and down. Up, over, and down. Once more. Up, over, and down. Up, over, and down. Very good. Let's go ahead and get started with the seven strike cut together. We're going to take it fairly slowly today. We're going to go all the way through from beginning to end, and we're going to name each skill together as we go. I can't do something correctly if I don't know what it is. So one of the first steps in learning any kind of kata is being able to put a name to everything that we do. We're going to start out here in high guard position. Then I'm going to step forward Overhead strike, upward strike, side strike, then I'm changing my grip with my right hand, reverse side strike, then I step up, step back, reverse low strike, then I'm going to step up, Step back again, downward block. Then I'm going to switch hands here. I'm stepping forward, and at the end, two hand thrust. That takes us all the way through the seven strike kata from beginning to end. We're giving the, we're doing the names of the, of the skills, the techniques, in English for right now. So let's try this together again. And we're going to take it slowly and just try to say the names along with me. Overhead strike, upward strike, side strike, reverse side strike, reverse low strike, downward block, two hand thrust. Now I'm going to face off in this direction, and let's try this together now, naming things as we go. We're starting by stepping back with our right foot, so we're left foot forward here to start, and we're in our high guard. Then we're going to start by stepping forward with our right foot. Overhead strike, upward strike, side strike, reverse side strike. Then I'm going to slide my left foot up, my right foot back. I'm 
leaning back away here. Reverse low strike. And I'm going to switch feet again. Slide my right foot up. Slide my left foot back. So we're back to being right foot forward. Downward block. And I'm sliding my hands past each other. I'm going to step forward with my left foot. Two hand thrust. Let's try that again. Now again, we're going to keep this nice and slow. We're just naming the skills as we go. So again, we're starting left foot forward in high guard position. Stepping forward. Overhead strike. Upward strike. Side strike. Reverse side strike. Now we're switching feet. Step up, step back, lean back. Reverse low strike. Switching feet again. Step up, step back. Downward block. Two hand thrust. All right. Now, you've seen it from the front, you've seen it from the side. I'm going to turn my back and we're going to try it that way. Now that you've seen and done at least some of these, it may be easier to, for you to follow along with me if you're looking at me from the back and can simply move as I move. Now again, we're going to take it slowly. We're going to name the skills as we go. High guard, overhead strike, upward strike, side strike, reverse side strike. Step up and step back now. Lean back, reverse low strike. Again, step up, step back, downward block, switch hands, two hand thrust, let's try it that way one more time together. Again, we're not trying to go real fast today. We're just going through from one skill to the next, one technique to the next, putting a name to everything that we do. I'm going to turn away again. Bow. Step back with your right foot, come into high guard, and together we're stepping forward. Overhead strike, upward strike, side strike, reverse side strike, switching feet, leaning back, reverse low strike, Switching feet again, downward block, switching hands and stepping forward, two hand thrust. Now 
Now the two hand thrust, again, this is one we've not worked with very much at all. It's simply a strike with the tip of the bow, a poke with the tip, a very powerful poke. As we're doing this, we're letting the bow turn slightly in our hands so that at the end, what we're getting is those three points of contact again. Here, here, and back here against my hip. I'm pulling it in with my elbow. The first part of this, it's floating a little bit free, two points. But as I finish, I've got three all locked up powerfully together. That's going to be real important. That's going to give you a very powerful thrust. If I'm just doing this kind of thing with the bow, that doesn't have a lot of power at all. That's simply annoying. This, you get your entire body mass into, into your thrust. That makes it much more powerful. All right. Now, we're going to go through this together one more time. And this time, I'll do it facing you again. And instead of using the English names for this, we'll use the Japanese names for all these terms, for all these skills. Jodan no Kamai, that's high guard in Japanese. Uchi Otosh, Uchage, Yoko Uch, Yaku Yoko Uch, Yaku Gedan Uch, Harayuke. Come Let's do it one more time. Because using the Japanese terms, it's fun. You try to follow along with me using the Japanese now if you can. And you don't you don't necessarily have to do the bow techniques. If you just want to, watch and try to name them along with me just to get a feeling for the Japanese. All right. Jodan no Kamai. Uchotosh. Uchage. Yoko Uch. Gyaku yoko uch. Gyaku gedan uch. Harayuke. Ski kome. Right, well, thank you very much for joining me for today's lesson. Been all the way through the seven strike kata now from beginning to end. We're putting names to everything we do, names in English, and at the end we tried naming the skills in Japanese together. We'll be building on this over our next few lessons. We will pick back up with Poyun kata, Poyun Hyung, I should say in our next lesson together. But uh, for this lesson, I really wanted to focus on the bow together and get us all the way through the seven strike kata from beginning to end. Next time, we'll also be looking a bit more at the final skill in the seven strike kata, the two-hand thrust, ski kome. Again, thank you for joining me.
have some fun with your bow, work through this on your own, and we will pick it back up next time.